What is up guys? I am James and holy hell it has been an extremely long time since I've made a video. I'm sure most of you know by now because it's been like I think like a couple months but we are going to try out the Iron Man mode. That's why I'm making a video. Um, Pretty much you know I've lost interest in the game. This gives me a little bit of interest back at least it's gonna attempt to. We'll see how long I can last on playing this. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do what I did on uh, old school and play all the time like I was because it's gonna burn me out quick so uh, the videos if there are like multiple videos which there probably will be they're probably gonna be pretty few and far in between unlike the RS uh, or the old school videos because I'm not gonna be playing as much but um essentially I'm gonna be playing this mode the hardcore Iron Man to start out and I'll probably end up buying that one thing that just in case if I die we can keep going but yeah, I am. I have decided to do RS3, mainly because it's like a brand new game all over to me. You know, I played old school for like two years straight now. So, I mean, I haven't played RS3 in forever. So really, pretty much, I got to relearn everything, learn all kinds of new things and stuff like that. So it's essentially like playing a new game. So um, we're going to start with the account creation, of course. Got to find the, uh, the proper look and all that good stuff. I don't know what hair to go with. I I don't even know what all these hairstyles are. They're all new and shit. Yeah, we'll go with the monk. No, nah. I don't know. We'll probably we'll probably go. We'll just go with the classic, classic hairstyle. The shirt. Um, let's see. What does this one look like? I like that one. We're gonna go with purple because purple looks awesome on this game. Uh, pants. We need shorts or something similar to shorts. Those, those look pretty cool. We'll go with those. And then boots. Those look pretty cool. Oh, God. Those look great with the purple. Those look beautiful with purple. And then facial hair. We got to have a beard. This one is the best. So, all right. Well, looks like we got our guy. So now comes the fun part. Creating a character name. Yeah. I will catch you guys back as soon as I'm uh, able to think of a name. This is going to probably take a while. All right. So here we are. We are officially in. I went with the name Dr. Logout. I know, very original. It was going to be Mr. Logout at first, but for whatever reason, it was saying that wasn't a valid display name. So, uh, apparently we're going with Dr. Logout for now until I can think of a better name and if I have the ability to change it. But, the thing here is, is I do not know where to start. <laughs> um, I think um, probably the best, the best goal to start out, I think, in my personal opinion, would probably be to get the magic level required for alking so i think 55 magic will probably be the priority and i can't really think of very many ways to do that but i know i'm pretty sure you can do it for free at dungeoneering i'm not 100 percent sure like i said i haven't played this in forever but i think what i'm gonna try and do is try out some dungeoneering first and see if i can't get some easy levels and all that I don't know if you have if you need like certain level requirements to do it solo. I've only done dungeoneering as a pretty much maxed account. I've never done it really other than that. So I don't know much about it. So um like I said, it's gonna be a whole new learning experience and so we gotta I think we gotta learn the do the tutorial and learn about all and stuff like that. But I will catch you guys as soon as I get inside a floor or if I figure out how to do this and whatnot. But yeah, see you guys in a few. Alright, so I've got one floor floor completed. So I got, out of that, I got five magic. I don't think I gain, I'm very close to gaining a constitution level. And I got three dungeoneering, which is pretty cool. So I'm level six combat now. And I think I can now do water strike, which is pretty sweet. The only problem is getting the water runes. I don't know how I'm gonna go about doing that. So we're probably just gonna stick with uh, air strike for now. I don't know for sure. Maybe I can get my hands on some water runes and bind some or something, but we're gonna do this for a little bit longer. I just uh, I just unlocked the ability to do the complexity two, so if I do floor, uh, I have to do well. I can prestige. Ha ha! Yes, I want to prestige. Bang! But I can do complexity two now. So I haven't. I think you unlock the next. What level do you unlock the next floor? I get. I don't know if that will uh, give me the ability. I don't know if like. Hold on. Where's fishing at? Let's see if like dungeoneering stuff I can catch it like level. okay cool so there is stuff you can do at level one all the way up so this will probably be a pretty good some pretty good xp this floor now i'm gonna abuse the uh ability to get like experience from pretty much everything possible so um this time it looks like you don't start out with anything 
That's not good. Maybe if I talk to him. Um, that's not good. All right, so I need to get something binded. I don't know when I want to get binded. Um, I'm not sure if I can trade him much anything, but I'll see you guys at the end of the floor and see what all progress I make and all that whatnot. All right, and I have completed the second dungeoneering floor. Technically, still the first floor, but now we're on floor two because we are five dungeoneering now. So I guess that means I can access. Or wait, I can access floor three now. Okay, so I got to complete this floor. Oh wait, I'm pushing the wrong X. And we managed to get some magic levels, some woodcutting levels, and some fire making levels, which is pretty awesome. I didn't get any fishing levels because apparently catching these heim crabs is pretty terrible XP. And I only found one fishing spot, so. But um, yeah, we're gonna keep uh keep doing what we're doing here. I'm gonna see how much uh, rune essence is. Maybe I can get some rune crafting XP and whatnot. But yeah. We're going to keep going with it at Dungeoneering. I'll probably do this until I get like 10 Dungeoneering or something. Then I'll probably go try and find something else to do. Because I feel like a lot of Dungeoneering will probably get pretty boring <laughs> and over and over again. So we'll uh, we'll get to like 10 Dungeoneering and uh, all that good stuff. And I'll see you there. Alright, so I didn't realize how <laughs> how fast Dungeoneering leveled up. I've done like, I think, hold on, let me let me open up the old, uh, the old Ring of Kinship here. Let's see how many floors I've actually done. No, fuck. Leave party, join party, okay. So I'm a, I've am only done up to floor 5, and I'm already 17 Dungeoneering, which gives me access to floor 9, I believe. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, it gives me access, or, or wait, 17, gives me access, yeah, floor 9. So, um, yeah, I've been leveling up pretty quickly, and I think at this time, it's uh, probably time for me to make this account a member. I've been doing a lot of things in Dungeoneering that require members things such as making a staff and you know like a bunch of other like member skills and stuff. So we're going to make this account a member and uh, I will catch you guys back after I am a member. I don't know what I'm going to do next. But we, I mean as fast as Dungeoneering is I think I might just get up to 20 Dungeoneering for now. And then maybe try and like maybe do some quests and do some leveling up or something. I don't. I honestly don't know what the uh, the goal of this account is just yet. Like I said, I really want to get that 55 um, magic for now, so I can you know cast high elk and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so we're gonna make this a member and we're gonna do some things afterwards. So yeah. Alrighty. So now I am officially 21 dungeoneering and I have 20 magic also. Um, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some stuff on the surface world <laughs> real quick. I don't have anything in my bank. That's pretty sweet. So I went straight to Dungeoneering. But I think a good goal would be to um unlock a lot of these uh, lodestones. Probably, I think that's, yeah, that's probably the next goal. What up, baby cakes with your uh, max cape or whatever, whatever it's called. Or, or no, that's completionist. Shows you how long it's been. But... I honestly think I may uh, AFK dungeon or AFK divination on my other account, well my main account I guess you would call it, and um, I could do that while I'm training this account. I oh actually now that I think about it, I think you get some decent experience from this now if I remember correctly. Um, I'm gonna figure this out, and I believe you actually get some combat experience from here. Unable to what? Oh my god! All right, well I'm gonna have to switch modes I believe. I don't. I forgot how to switch mode. Let me figure this out real quick. One second. Alrighty. So we are all done with the combat training. I am now 34 magic. I'm not exactly sure what I was beforehand, but now level 34 magic, and I'm also at 26 combat. So made some pretty decent progress and pretty decent levels there. Right now, what I'm doing is heading to Varrock so I can unlock the lodestone. Um, I don't know what all the important lodestones really are, and this car you can hear is probably pretty fucking loud. We'll wait for him to leave. Hold on. Okay. Now that that car is gone, um, I need to acquire some armor. So, uh, let's see here. What level, uh, would it be under defense or would it be under magic? I'm not exactly sure. I don't know how this whole interface works, but armors, let's see. Is there anything that says anything about anything? Um, okay. Well, let's try going back to magic. Magic, magic, magic. Where is magic? There it is. Okay, magic armor. Um, so pretty much I need defense. That's not good. <laughs> I didn't realize I would need defense levels. Uh, let's see. 
So, it, does everything require defense? Okay, no, it doesn't. So, let's see. If I want... What is it, like, Batwing or something like that? Hold on. I'm not... Uh, weapons. So, I know... Where's... Like, what's all... I don't remember all of the different, like... Sh armors and stuff. Imp wand, shield, and book. Armor. Where is the proper armors at? I'm going to have to look this up or something. Because I don't know if... Hold on. Give me one sec. Let me look up some of this crap. I I don't know any of this. I don't know anything about anything as far as this game goes. But let me see if I can figure out some armors. If not, I'm probably going to have to get some defense levels. Which may be uh, not exactly the funnest thing in the world. But give me one second. So it doesn't appear that the staff and things require any, uh, any, like, defense levels or anything like that. Uh, I just, this is so confusing to learn anything, or, like, everything about this, but I don't know, let's see, anything, yeah, it's, I think it all just requires defense. I'm not sure if there's any armor, any, like, any magic armor that doesn't require defense. If any of you guys know... I would love for you guys to leave a comment in the uh, comments thing. Thank you, Bobber. But we're going to go unlock some lodestones. Um, I think i got to figure out what I want to do next. Um, obviously, I want to keep training my magic up until I can uh, use high alk or whatever. But I need to get me a weapon first off. And since I'm 34 magic, I need to figure out what weapon I can actually use. That doesn't require any defense or anything. Let's see, so 30, I can use a Mystic Wand. I can use Skepter of the Gods, which, ooh, I can use a Battle Staff. May have to acquire, I wonder if I can just use a, I wonder, does a regular Battle Staff, like, give you runes and stuff? Because I know it does in Dungeoneering, I feel like it doesn't. Granted, I don't have any coins, so that actually may be not a bad idea. Probably go get some coins, I think. Probably get some Thieving Levels or something. I'm not exactly sure what the best way to get coins would be. But I would assume that thieving is probably a good way to start. Thieving men, anyways. Let's see if there's any... Where's, where's any men around here? I feel like I probably got to go back to Lumbridge for that. But, yeah, I'm going to get my thieving up a little bit. Yay, unlock the lodestone. But I'm going to get my thieving up a little bit. See if I can't make any money or anything. Why is this taking forever to let me move? Okay. But I'm going to see if I can get some levels or something. Some thieving levels, get some money. I got to figure out how much actually a battle staff is. How much it actually costs. Because I know you can buy one from the shop. Which is obviously a good thing there. So give me one sec. Let me find out how much I need. And then we're going to go train some thieving probably. And uh, get my hands on a battle staff. One of these at least. Okay. So yet again. This shows you how long it's been since I've played this game. Granted on um, old school. There are men everywhere in Lumbridge. Apparently there are none here. So I got to go see if I can try and find some. The only place that I, other place that I know of that has men is the area in Edgeville, the little like building north of the bank or whatever. So we're going to head there and I wonder, I need a cape or something, but I'm going to, I'm going to get my theming up a little bit and unlock one of these staffs. And I think I'm going to go back to Dungeoneering to get some defense levels. Like I said, I didn't realize I needed defense and all that stuff. Too. What the fuck? This chick looks like a damn submarine or something. What the hell? So we're about to go fucking swimming. Her, she's hot. Hi, you're hot. LOL. But anyways, I'm going to go uh, get my thieving up, of course, like I've said multiple times. And so, uh, let me get, get uh, 1.5k for the old the staff. I think, I don't know which staff is probably best. Probably the air staff. That way I can just buy runes and stuff. But then again, from there, I'll have to buy more coins and all that good stuff. So, we're going to, I don't know. We're going to get my thieving up and do that until I can get some coins to buy that. And then we're probably, like I said, we're going to head back to Dungeoneering. Get my defense up, get some magic up, and hopefully I can get up to 55 magic and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I will see you as soon as I get my staff. Ouch. That one hurts right there. Poor little Chern Chernikov. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, but he just died with a skill level of 672. I'm only 500 levels short of him. But uh, right now I'm doing this, um, the Thieving Guild quest or whatever it is. And I have no idea where the hell I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I'm like, well, I found, I found the divination area. 
Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm using a... Wait, hold on. I'm using a quest guide, and it's like this hut I remember. And it used to be somewhere over here. But now I don't know where it's at, because this place confuses the shit out of me. RuneScape 3 just confuses me, and I don't know where anything is, but I'll find it eventually. Alright, so I've completed Buyers and Sellers, and I know there is some, um, some sort of thing that's really good for experience. I think this might be it, actually. Yeah, and you, like, open all of these, um, these doors, and they're pretty decent XP, I think. I don't know what level you need to pickpocket them, but... Alright, well, apparently those doors require 35 thieving to open. Um, I think we're going to end the episode here. I'm not exactly sure how much footage we have, length of worth or whatever, but... Um, day one of Iron Man is in the books. If you guys have any suggestions on anything as far as Iron Man goes, because, like I said, I know nothing about RS3. I don't really know much. But um, if you guys have any suggestions for me to, uh, like, you know, level up, like, things... Like, I need, I need to get... I, like, my first goal is to get 55 ma uh, fifty five magic for high alc. But I'm also going to need to get my defense up and all that stuff. So, I'm assuming dungeoneering may be the best way for an Iron Man. But, I don't know. Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. And, uh, also, as far as getting coins and things like that, I also could take some suggestions for that. Because I don't know if thieving is necessarily the best way to do it. Because I need just actual GP. I can't... Well, I, I mean, I'm sure I can probably kill things and sell them to uh, stalls and stuff like that. But... The initial, I think, would probably, my best bet would be to do Dungeoneering all the way to uh, 55 Magic and then start training some, like, Fletching and Crafting and stuff like that and Alking Bows and all that. But, um, like I said, this will be the end of the first episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and hopefully uh, I can stick with it this time and hopefully people will enjoy watching and all that stuff. Like I said, I know it's not old school and I'm sure a lot of you used to, uh, used to watch me for old school, but I am really pale on this character. I just realized that. <laughs> but, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I will see you guys in the next episode, and goodbye! Yeah, bye.